Welcome to 5minutetutorials.com. This tutorial is being recorded in Adobe Illustrator CS6. And this time I want to talk a little bit about the color guide here. So make sure you do uh, watch the color palette lecture as well as the color pill, uh, picker, which is uh, the same lecture, before moving on into this one. The way this particular uh, palette works is it'll take your foreground fill color here and it lists it here. Right here you can also see it's outlined and it's also indicated uh, right inside of here. This first uh, top one is the same color. And it displays some, in this case, harmony rules that go with it. The color picker, I'm sorry, the color guide is designed to help you choose colors that may or may not go well together. Okay, that's what it's trying to show you, give you some color options. Where did these come from? Well, that comes here from this option. If you toggle it open, you see this is uh, a tetrad color theory. It gives you tetrad one, tetrad two, tetrad three. So you can see a, a, your variety of color theories are being displayed here. For example, a complementary color theory, um, split complementary, and then you've got a couple other options, analogous, analogous two, monochromatic, and so on. You can read through all of that on your own. So once again, this particular color guide is uh, helping you try to find some other colors that might go well with the uh, selected color. It also drops that color right into this middle tab here where my cursor is. On this side we have tints and that's adding white and shades which means we're adding black to the color and then some of the other color variations off of that working our way down. They correlate uh, with the colors that are chosen there. In your options uh, you can actually switch from tints and shades to warms and cools so it cools it off or warms up the colors as well. And then the third one is vivid or muted so we're saturating and desaturating that color there. Once again the whole purpose of this particular palette is to try to help you create some uh, alternate colors for you that may go well with that color. There are other options available right down here and that you can experiment with such, such as the apply or edit colors, um, and saving a color group to the swatch panel. Uh, you can read about that uh, online or uh, come back here when we do some more advanced tutorials on the actual color guide. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to watch the remaining color lectures on 5minutetutorials.com and anytime that you like what you see we really would appreciate it if you'd share this site with all your friends and colleagues.